itself is not a reason to become inactive. And I refuse to accept, as they should refuse to accept, slowing down because we are designed to move. In this population, it's very important to maintain bone health by doing resistance exercise. And probably the best resistance exercise is just walking. You can't expect to go and perform with these dancers having never done it. So we had six weeks of both lectures talking about health, nutrition, how to stretch, how to be smarter about what we do. And then we had exercise portions. And that's what you've been viewing on TV, mm -hmm. uh, the women really participating, getting fit through dance. It's very important for athletes and active people, 40 and above in their 30s, to be very smart about their exercise. And so we brought in all the expertise at the Center for Sports Medicine and just made it happen for these women. Right. Start program on the 5K. You know, lots of people know that fitness is the key to healthy aging. In fact, 78% of people over 50 would name that as the number one way to age well. But only 28% of us do anything about it. And it's not because the information is not there. It's because we don't know where to start. Right. What do we do? How many steps do we have to take? So the START program is designed to take people from the couch, mm -hmm. because truly our couches are killing us in this country. <laughs> yes, that is true. To a 5K. Mm -hmm. And we chose 5K, which is 3.1 miles, because it's a significant different distance. And over a 12-week period, we are gradually taking people from walking on the trail that's along the river mm -hmm. that goes to D.C. And if you make it to D.C., that is quite <laughs> a significant time. But, uh, and every week we'll progress. And we have uh, space for 125 people over 40 to join us in the race that is culminating uh, with the great race in September. Every week we have lectures, how to be healthy, what does it mean to exercise and stretch, and what are the four components of fitness that we must follow once we reach our 30s and 40s. Great. These athletes, women 60 and older, can do more than most. There is research to prove it. It is really true, the old adage you hear everywhere, you use it or you lose it. How they use it was as much a mystery as how they began to use it. No one had ever studied their health status or their injury rate. That changed in 2001. Generosity of time and information allows that research to continue with amazing findings. 59% of the oldest women, meaning 80 and over, had normal bone mineral density. Amazing. Only 25% of the oldest men had normal bone density. It's just one of a battery of tests, last taken in 2001, now being repeated. It helps people that are going through these things, you know, yeah. do all the things that they need to do. They are injured in a different way, they recover in a different way, and they need different kinds of rehab and surgery.